Yo. What is this? What's up everyone? My name is Dr. Moin. I'm a dentist. Today we'll be watching some really <laughs> good cleaning for uh, this case, which looks like it really needs uh, some cleaning. Don't forget to like, write a comment. It helps with the uh, algorithm. Oh my God, that is a lot of plaque and cutlass. Wow. So what they're using is an ultrasonic uh, scaler um, and with a water uh, coolant. And if you can see, they're focusing on uh, the area between uh, the gums and the teeth or near the gum line. That is where typically uh, the calculus uh, and the dental tartar uh, would accumulate. So they're saying that luckily in this case, uh, no mobility in the teeth uh, was present, which is a good thing because if someone has a moderate or severe uh, periodontal uh, disease, some teeth may be mobile due to the, uh, if, if the underlying bone, the supporting bone being compromised. Or the attaching uh, periodontal ligaments. So they're continuing, they're going slowly cleaning the uh, front teeth. As we said, they're focusing around uh, the gum line as well. Oh, look at all of that dental calculus being removed. Okay, so it's very important to have a, a coolant method like the water in here. You see a lot of water uh, is coming and that is uh, to avoid uh, like overheating of uh, the tooth and tooth surface. So in some areas, uh, is one of the complications having all of this dental doctor calculus periodontal disease over time is some of the gums are going to be uh, receding uh, as well. You may have heard about a gum recession before. I will make videos about it in the future. So as you can see, sometimes we need to go back to some uh, teeth that we already uh, did a uh, clean. If there's any parts that are uh, remaining, uh, any uh, dental calculus or dental tartar uh, pieces that are remaining. Okay, they're going into a, the back teeth uh, slowly. They're cleaning the looks like the premolars and then moving slowly into the molar region. As I said, sometimes we do need to go back to a teeth that were already dead if there's any dental tartar or a calculus remaining. Now they're doing the other side, uh, going from the front teeth slowly into this is called the central, uh, into the lateral, and then canine, then the lateral, then the canine, and then they're moving uh, backwards. It really depends on the operator with regard to the sequence. I work with a periodontist, which is a specialist who deals with gum problems and more. Uh, and what that particular periodontist suggested to me is to start from the uh, two thirds moles in the back, like for example, a third molar and slowly and finish one quadrant. Uh, and then do another quadrant from the central inside they're going until the last tooth, just so that you don't miss any tooth or a surface. Uh, or a surface and then go uh, into a lower quadrant and then same thing from the last tooth to the middle and proceed forward and then do the same thing from the inside. So it really depends on the operator. As long as you clean all tooth surfaces properly, then should be fine. Okay, you can see at some point they're trying to uh, push this in between the teeth because some uh, calculus and tartar get stuck also in between the teeth a little bit deep. 
Now we're going uh, into the lower teeth and uh, they're uh, doing the lower front teeth as well. Some of these uh, dental tartar and dental calculus deposits can be more stubborn and more sticky than others. Some are a bit more uh, easily removed. Some just pop off like a huge piece, uh, like this one. So as you can see, uh, if you notice this dental calcus and tartar, it's blocking some space between the teeth. So after we remove this, you're gonna see space, but it's not because of the uh, cleaning, it's because already there was already pre-existing space and that space may get worse with the presence of dental tartar and calculus because it's eating more and more of that uh, underlying uh, bone as the gum and periodontal infection uh, proceeds. So it's not the cleaning that uh, caused it, but it's rather uh, due to already having periodontal disease and that periodontal disease is already progressing. Okay, so we are moving more. More getting into the lower uh, front teeth. Also, a lot of people think, well, okay, I was getting the dental cleaning and blood or uh, bleeding came out. Well, that's in relation to already existing periodontal and gum disease. I would guess this is the uh, after uh, scaling and you can see a lot of bleeding. Um, uh, so they're saying after two to three days, the patient's doing a bit uh, well, better, uh, or doing well is what uh, exactly said. So they said in follow up, there was significant improvement. It is also important uh, that uh, after doing this and after doing uh, the scaling for the patient to maintain uh, excellent oral hygiene. So it's not only the dentist's job, but it's also the patient's job and also to do regular checkups with the dentist every three to six uh, months because otherwise what we will end up with that after a couple of months uh, we will have a, a case uh, like this again then what is the point uh, of course you will still do and need uh, regular dental uh, cleanings but we need uh, the case to not progress into uh, such advanced stage but to have some uh, mild uh, uh, calculus mild dental tartar if you even seen some patients that come to the clinic with really really very mild uh, dental calculus uh, that is there on the inside for example and i would uh, clean it for them and they would come after uh, six months for example a very same thing very very minimal uh, tartar and dental and calculus pieces I would easily uh, clean it off and typically uh, these uh, patients or these uh, people they would have uh, really excellent oral hygiene they would be brushing properly they would be using a, a dental floss or a, a water floss and following the dense instructions I thank you everyone for watching don't forget to put a like subscribe and share the video with your friends peace